Hey guys, Scott Riegers here with Eastman's Hunting Journals, and today I'm here to review the Zolio Backcountry Communicator, your way of reaching out when you're in the backcountry without cell service and letting your family know that you're okay and be able to regularly communicate by text message in an app. And make sure that you have subscribed and that you like all of our content to get notifications about all the latest gear reviews just like this one that Eastman's comes out with on our YouTube channel. The first thing I want to tell you about with Zolio is what it actually is. When you hear the name Zolio, that's probably the question you first ask is what is it? What does it do? Well, Zolio is this little, little device right here. It's about the size of your wallet. And what it allows you to do is send text messages in and out, send emergency notifications should you have the tragedy happen. That's why I keep it right here on my shoulder so I have access to it at all times. And then you're also able to check your weather and you can upgrade on the fly if you need to and you run out of text messages. So how does this thing work? Well, it uses Bluetooth technology to connect directly to your phone and Zolio built an entire app that is designed for communicating in the backcountry as your primary function. There are some other things I'm gonna go over, but the main thing that people are using this Zolio device for is the communication. So question, next question is, how far away do you have to be from the device in order to send a text message? Well, Zolio has their published data, which we'll put right here in the lower third, but I'll say from personal experience that I've been able to send text messages from about 15 to 20 feet successfully in the backcountry. Now, bear in mind, Bluetooth things can get in the way. So if you've got a straight line of sight, you can probably get away with a little farther than that. But what I will say is that's what I've been successful, but I've also had no reason not to because I carry this with me all the time. It is constantly with me in the backcountry. So the first, the next piece of this app that you can see, it is very easy to send out messages and let people know that you're okay. So you simply come here to the, open with the home screen after your Bluetooth device connects to your phone. And you can see that there is a little text message button. So I can go and scroll through all of my contacts, just like my contacts are in my phone. They've been uploaded into Zolio and it's connected. So it's really easy to find who you need to communicate with. This feels exactly like texting, exactly like the experience that you're used to. You're just doing it inside the Zolio app. The next piece is how many do you get? Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, go with the $50 plan and the unlimited because I communicate with three people and that includes Brandon Mason, Ike Eastman, and then my wife. And so I let them know on a regular basis well, how I'm doing. Well, if I were to do two backcountry trips a month, I'm going to be over 100 messages. So for $50 a month, you're able to get unlimited messages. But here's the beauty of it. So you're able to pause your subscription on the months that you're not using it and do it. I literally just did that. So full disclosure, I bought my Zolio device and I went with the mid-range plan, which is $35 for the first round. And I bought that a year ago. And the reason I did it last year was because I had a few hunts the year before where cell service was spotty at best, even at the tops of the ridges. And I wanted to be able to communicate with back home, find out how the family was doing, things of that nature and also being able to communicate with the office when I need to, let them know when I'm packing out, coming back in, that was important. But one of the things I discovered, because I'll spend quite a bit of time in the fall in the back country out of cell service, I discovered that having the unlimited messages was important for me because I'm communicating with three people. You add that up over the course of a couple weeks, it adds up pretty fast. So I would encourage you to go with that plan. For $50 a month, that's not a huge penalty to pay and you don't have to pay it year round. You can press pause and you can start that subscription up at any time that you need. So say you go backpacking in the month of July, turn it on for July, turn it off for August, turn it back on for September, October, November, for when you're in the back country, you're gonna be out of cell service and need to communicate. So it's a really incredible way of doing things. Now, one of the other things that you can do is you can set up your emergency contacts. So you literally go in and you, it's easier to set this up on the desktop than inside, inside mobile or inside the app, but it's very easy to set it up. So I've got it set up where I've got my four people that when I send a check into, it sends them a message, lets them know my exact coordinates, where I'm at, and it also lets them know that I'm okay. 
So the biggest thing that the messaging and being able to send the check-ins allows you to do is have peace of mind. And that's the most important thing that keeps you hunting and hunting well when you're in the backcountry is having peace of mind to know that things at home are taken care of and that you are safe and they know that you're safe because not wondering how you're doing and how things are going, that takes some of that X factor out. So moving into the ergonomics, you can see this is small. It's about the size of your wallet. It performs best when you set it on a flat surface. So right here on my, you know, sitting on my chest is not necessarily ideal for performance, but what it does do is allows it to keep it here and really close. So should an accident happen with me, I have intentionally kept it right here because it allows me to pop this SOS button and you can hit the SOS. And there's a flip down protection so that if you put this in while it's turned on, say into your pack, you're not gonna accidentally bump your SOS. I know that some emergency communicators in the past, that has actually been an issue where you have to worry about where that SOS button is. So this just provides some protection and makes it so you're not going to do that. Because when this thing isn't on my chest, it's actually in a waterproof electronics pouch that's inside my pack. I keep all my batteries, my wires in there, my wires for charging this. So just as an FYI, you can connect this. I've got a solar panel, we'll lay it out and show how that works. But you can connect this to the solar panel and charge it. That's something to be cognizant of. If you bring this up and use it for text messaging quite a bit, one of the things you will have to monitor and work with is you gotta charge it. That's just part of the battle. So I would really encourage you to have some solar power options and solar power is light anymore. Some newer panels, they're able to get there very light, but most of us are charging our phones anyway. So it's just a matter of power management while you're sitting there glassing, open it up, leave it sitting there charge this as you need. Um, most of the time, I never let it get below 50% in the field, and it usually only takes a couple hour of charging to get this thing 100% charged up. So just something to, something to know and be aware of. It doesn't take long to charge this guy, especially if you turn it off, if you power it off before and aren't sending text messages while you're charging. If you turn this off to save battery, the power button is hard to get to, like say from a, from a perspective of accidentally bumping it, it's not going to accidentally turn on inside your pack. I have owned this particular Zolio device for a year and I have never had it turn on by itself inside the pack. You know, nothing is more frustrating to me than when I pull out uh, my headlamp and find that it's been on for the last six hours and now I'm onto my secondary set of batteries. This won't do that. The way that this power button is structured and it takes a couple seconds of holding it, that's by design. Zolio thought through this and thought well of, okay, how in the world do we make sure that we protect this so it's not burning through battery unintentionally? That's one of the things that they did. Another piece, this thing is tough as nails. This is something that I've field tested for over a year. So again, just make sure that you keep it exposed. You wanna make sure that it's set out where you've got open sky to be able to do that. You don't wanna flip it over like this when you're setting it out for sending messages. So another feature that Zolio has inside their app is weather powered by Darkstar. Now the beauty of this whole, whole system is that I actually did this while I was scouting not long ago. You can refresh and you can get the weather for your exact location. Man, that provides some security as well. Because I used to, like yesteryear, you check your forecast and you would assume that was right. But you would also add for every, about every thousand feet of elevation, I'd add five to 10% likelihood that I was actually going to get that rain or that snow. But then the next factor is how much faster was it going to arrive to me in the high country before it made it to you know that last point? Because a lot of old weather forecasts, well, they weren't exactly where you were at. When you're looking at what Dark Star here, the beauty of it is that you can actually see where you're at and it's based on your location, what's going on. So I'm looking at it right now. There, we had some rain last night. Okay, I'm seeing that. There's a there's 80% chance of rain. There was also um, a 45% chance here in a few days. So that's, that's pretty cool that you can do that. You can also see the directions of your wind. And so that makes a difference. Where's, where's the wind going to be coming from? At your location. So it's a, it's a pretty powerful tool and you can see it broken down by, tw by um, 12 hour periods. So that's also really cool as well. Finally, 
One of the features that I have used the least, but they are developing and growing, is your downloadable maps. So you can actually have maps inside your Zolio app and look at where you're at. And so that's a, that's a cool feature that I'm looking forward to getting to know a little bit more and understanding what does Zolio offer inside that mapping navigation world that we can really learn from and how I can be a better hunter with that. But that is included in your system. Thanks for coming along for this review of the Zolio device. And I would encourage you to look this up and check it out and look at the subscription options, see what's right for you. And make sure that you have subscribed to the Eastman's YouTube channel so that you get notifications every single time that we put out a gear review.